What is up everyone, it's how to videos today. Got something new for you, a Green Gears 3D printed nine disc. This is a blade disc for the Ufi E15, E18. I think I may be one of the only people in the world that has one of these to search near and far. This came from Germany. I actually stumbled upon this about two weeks ago when I tried to install these EM Berg 43 millimeter titanium blades, didn't fit. Uh, they came bumping up against this shield guard here. So that's a no-go. Uh, so I figured, you know, what's the best thing? Does anybody make anything that I can use? And I was pretty desperate. I'm like, am I gonna drill holes in here? Probably not, because that wouldn't be a wise idea, but uh, found this Green Gears 3D printed disc. Thank you again, Green Gears. About two weeks to arrive from Germany. And I've got these precision blades here. They're the same size as the factory ones, but they are titanium. So they should, in theory, last longer. And you can switch them out. As you see, they have uh, two different holes. So I believe you mount them one way. And then when you're finished, or you say, I don't know what the expe expected lifespan is on these, like three months or so, you kind of flip them around. So you go, not only do you go up and down, then you go upside down. So you get another quick, geez, I'm looking at all the grass and such. This has accumulated my wheel, I'm sidetracking. But uh, yeah, about two and a half months. Uh, almost three months of using this. Now it's been running pretty regularly. I've gotten a nice sequence here. So um, look at that. Wonderful. Just try to clean off your machine every once in a while. It goes right in my trash. Anyways, um, I want to see if anyone had any questions about this solution. It should be a direct fit. As you see here, it has those three screws. It comes with, I bought the three mounting screws. I didn't want to play around with um, oh crap, these are hex. I think I'll get my hex kit, so bear with me. But um, the met, many of the people, you provided feedback, everyone, how to videos, I'm listening. I got this to record this install on POV, and over the next couple minutes, I will disassemble the old one, put the new one on, and then in that same process, put the blades, and we'll do a live test tomorrow. That'll probably be the second part of the video. Everyone can see how this does. And I've been running, just for your knowledge, every th two and a half to three days that it takes to cut my lawn so I can't run it on the fast speed. I'm forced to run the E18 on like the standard speed with the fast blades. I got about an hour and a half per cut, hour and a half per charge. This thing running all day long if it if it can. If it doesn't rain or if it has a quick rain shower, I'll stop it and then send it right back out there. Um, so I've got it to a fine tuned, I guess you'd say, science at this point. I used to run it fast, the grass looked like crap. It took, you know, at that point three to almost four days. And I just couldn't get away with it. I was like, listen, I gotta run it either medium speed or something where I can get the lawn. And it does much better when taking very short trims. And I think these sharper blades, I may be able to get away with running the lawnmower on fast. And that's my next step, kind of once we get this thing mounted and running. I'm gonna do two passes. The zones are, of course, right next door to them, parallel, my backyard. I'll do one on standard speed and one on fast. And if that comes out well, I will even try to up the ante and run the blades at a medium speed and run the wheels fast. Can I get away with even more? Because my, my yard is every bit of uh, three-tenths of an acre and my backyard, cuttable that is. So you see why it takes this long and why I am so curious to see how efficient I can get this mower. Honestly, this should work for everybody if this is a game changer. Will highly recommend, try to promote on their website, at least tag them in my video. So I will now hook this camera up and get to the rest of the video. All right, so the issue I ran into here, started to uh, get this assembled. And if you tighten it too much, you're not gonna have any play and it's gonna run in. Right now it's scraping against the side, at which point it's gonna either blow the motor, or something else is gonna happen. So I don't feel safe and I will not run these with the unit. That's uh, just a heads up. I'm going to take them off and try to find another wheel.
Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Got the Berg 43 millimeter Monster XL blades. Probably the first one to ever try this on a UFI E15, E18. So really pumped up, hyped, green gears. Thanks again for this, came pretty quickly. Quality looks spot on, and I will let everyone know tomorrow how this cuts. Stay tuned, how to videos. Just for everyone's knowledge, these don't fit with these Berg blades. These are actually probably meant to fit here exactly. These already have enough play because there's kind of a, a bump at the end. So they are, honestly, I think these screws are more well suited for this than the ones they provided. It's just a heads up to uh, Green Gears, but these in my pocket, not using them. Start this baby up and off we go. So initial reactions, it's much noisier. So it's a good sign all those blades are spinning and uh, it looks to be really clean. I mean, just one instance, I guess it missed and has to go back and cut, but uh, kind of see the prior. I mean, it's not really all that much that's missing. I guess I could examine the grass clippings to see. That's not great, like as you see there, as opposed to, it should be a nice clean cut. You know, this, they're getting kind of snipped as opposed to almost yanked out of the ground. I want to look at this one here. It's a pretty thick pat patch of grass, almost like a crab grass. And look at that. I mean, it just choo, chopped right through. Very nice. Take a quick peek at this. Looks like it's fixed whatever the other one missed, so I mean, I'm happy about that. And uh, I'm going to run this in probably two zones, so this one and the one over there. And I'll get them. This is the standard speed, fast blade speed. And then I'll do further down the yard over there in the fast travel speed, hoping to almost capture another half hour worth of runtime per charge. So let me take another closer look here. Oof. Look at that. Almost looks like a lawnmower cut it. I mean, it's getting better in terms of I want to see those loose ends that are all like bleh. I want to see more of that cleaner look like exactly there. So I'm um, splitting hairs here, literally, or splitting uh, grass, but at the same time, you can kind of see, you know, the other one would cut, but then it's, look, it's like missing here, gets lower. I mean, it's all different sizes. It looks okay from a distance, but you're like, come on, you can do a better job. And this is running on standard. I mean, I'm not trying to run the thing on super fast as opposed to here. I mean, that's pretty remarkable. What a difference. I mean, same height. I don't see anything that's sticking up or was missed. Position successful. Okay, thank you, Mr. Darth Moe. I mean, I, that's why I hope at the end of the day, you can't tell this is a robotic lawnmower cutting as opposed to like, oh, look at that grass. It looks like crap. So anyways, I have Wi-Fi all throughout my lawn. Look at that. I watered this morning. I'll have to water tomorrow. Starting blade disc. You hear it's much noisier. I can measure the dead decibels, but I will also tighten up the pathing, or at least probably go on like a normal pathing. Right now I have it at the narrowest. And I'll see what it can do from that perspective once I kind of get it to that fast speed. Look at that. Let's see when it takes its second pass over here. Nice fresh cut. Beautiful. And I have it to the highest setting, three inches by the way. Get out of your way, buddy. Do what you gotta do. I don't know why you're stopping here, but maybe you missed something. This was a zone that it started yesterday and then I stopped it during the rain. It's not missing anything. I like what I see. Especially that extra reach with the XL blades. Where are you going? I wish you could notice when you miss the zone or you miss something, you have to go back and cut it. Even though it's like, oh, I cut it, but like, yeah, it's still not ready. You have to go back and measure the grass seeds. So. That's nice. And you see what it's picking up here. 
Get mulch right back in your grass. Keep that lawn nice and healthy. I don't see any missed clippings that are a shade too high. I mean, look at that. That's nice. Very clean. Let's see where it's going to head now. Get out of your way, buddy. Why do you keep stopping? Just keep going. Nothing in your way, man. See the before and after. I'm gonna leave it right here. Okay. Not your way. Where you going, man? Why are you turning around? You can hear it cutting. Brilliance. Just brilliance. I love it. Let's try this one more time. Let's go. Oh, it's coming back. Second pass. I didn't think it was necessary or warranted, but stay out of its lane. I think this is already done. I can speed up the travel time at this point. I'll be back later today when he's done with this zone, and then I'll switch the other one about an hour or two onto the fast travel speed to see how he does with these blades. We've got a day a three update. Let the first two days pass, and I had the UFI E18 mow on a fast travel speed with a fast blade speed with a narrow path spacing at 3.1 inches. And kind of still had those, I'm gonna say lackluster results, but some of the blade or blades of grass were getting missed. I was a bit disappointed. And this is eh, kind of sloppy uh, this is the next level of I guess what I'd say I already evaluated by did the medium path spacing assuming I could get away with a tad wider path and still the fast blade speed and the standard travel speed so let me know what you think I mean comments wise these are about the same that's going to take to mow my grass here and I mean ideally if I'm getting down on my hands and knees, it looks like every, I don't know, five, ten feet, there's a couple blades of grass that are missed. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll try and zoom in. Yeah, there's one you can see. And there's like a one or two. No, I'm literally picking at hairs, but things like this do annoy me where I'm like, ah, it doesn't look as good as my zero turn or a lawn service, so a bit frustrating, but uh, I think this may be the best setting for the long term as it takes a tad narrower, but it cuts the grass. I like the look of it. If you see here, the grass being cut at a slower speed versus a faster speed. If it doesn't miss as much and it's a cleaner cut versus the lawnmower moving faster, although cutting a bit narrower of a path so yeah i mean overall you know no complaints with uh, the mulching and what it's accomplishing here granted this may have been a little wet when it was cutting today this part was a bit drier so i'm curious to see the results show an improvement on the drier grass not really kind of have some of those outliers periodically so but, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be back to sticking just medium travel speed and that narrow path, probably for ideal optimal results. 
it's getting there. But uh, yeah, I think the fast blade speed and the narrow pathing may be a better long-term solution. So let's go check on Mr. Darth Mo. see what he's doing now. I'll tackle this when I have time in the fall. It's too hot to grow grass now. What are you, what are you doing, buddy? Cutting, all right. Now that grass started growing and hasn't really done much since the heat has taken over. It's much noisier now with this blade set up, I must say, which is kind of nice. So you know it's there, but it's like it was really silent. Like, all right, once they had snuck up on you, but you want to have your kid be like, oh, what is this thing, and then get scared by it. Let's see it in action here. Let's go. What are you thinking about? Come on. Make your move. <laughs> 